Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. And check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. As well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about what does it mean to be a bust? What defines a bust in the National Football League? Is Jameis Winston a bust? And if so, is Marcus Mariota? They were taken back to back. Both have had not careers worthy of either of their draft selections, but does that put them in bust territory? The argument for Jameis Winston is that he was taken number one overall, yet not only has he not performed up to number one overall pick expectations and potential, you could argue and you could make a very good argument that Jameis Winston has been a below average quarterback in the NFL, obviously doesn't have a winning record. I am of the opinion that teams win games and players do not necessarily. Obviously, players are make up the teams. One player does not win a game. So... If you took the best quarterback in the NFL, in my opinion, that would be Aaron Rodgers, and you don't have any talent around him, Green Bay Packers, and of course there are good players on that team, not saying there's not, but overall as a unit is not talented, well, the Packers aren't winning many games, and for the first time in a while, they're not in playoff contention. Now, part of that could be on the fact that Aaron Rodgers has regressed a little bit over these past couple of years, and it's showing more, you know, now more than ever as he continues to get older. He doesn't have the exact same zip, but I still think he's the best quarterback in the league. There are guys that are close. Drew Brees is playing very, very well. Had a rough game last week um, against the Carolina Panthers. Looked kind of like he had a noodle arm. And then you look at Patrick Mahomes. Just his first season as a starter, but he's been incredible. You look at guys, Tom Brady, never count him out. One of my favorite quarterbacks in the league, Andrew Luck, I think should definitely be in the conversation. Everyone kind of counted him out for being injured, so he's, he's bad, but that's not how it works. Just because he's not playing doesn't mean he's bad. He's just hurt. He's still very good. Russell Wilson, too. I think those are kind of the top quarterbacks. Phillip Rivers having an MVP caliber season, not really getting talked about, but we're not talking about the MVP race, who are the top quarterbacks in the league. That'll be in the offseason. I'm going to do my positional rankings. But... Is Jameis Winston a bust? Make sure to tell me down in the comments section below. We're going to look at his all-time stats. So this year in nine games, Jameis Winston has a 63.7 completion percentage, which is actually higher than his career average, which is 61.3. Not terrible as far as completion percentages go, but that's getting dangerously close to 50, per, uh, you know, in the 50s for a percentage. 61, not where you want to be necessarily. It's not terrible, as I said, but you kind of want to be more in that 67-ish range. I think that's probably about league average. And then 70%, uh, you're getting up in that elite territory. 14 touchdowns to 13 interceptions. And that really has been the problem for Jameis Winston over the course of his career. His touchdown to interception ratio is 83 to 57. I guess that's not the ratio, but that is the, that's not the uh, like subtracted ratio or the, um, like, you know, as small as it could be. If you guys get what I'm saying, I can't remember the word for that. But 83 and 57 all time for touchdowns to interceptions. His average yard per attempt is 7.6. Not terrible. You want to be up closer to 10, but it's not terrible. And he has a career of 14,000 passing yards or just about. But it really is about playing turnover free football. And Jameis Winston has not done that over the course of his career. In 16 games in 2015, through 15 interceptions. In 16 games in 2016, through 18 interceptions. 2017, only played 13 games. 11 interceptions, and then now in 2018, in nine games, he's thrown 13 interceptions. And I think the biggest problem with that, and obviously an interception per game is not great, but this is his fourth year now in the league, and he isn't figuring it out. He just is not improving. He's not getting better. He's still making the same silly decisions that you'd see a rookie make, and we saw him make because he'd be going down. And sometimes it's a smart decision to take the sack. And Jameis Winston does not have that. He'll throw the ball up. He'll lob it. He often doesn't throw it away. He throws it into traffic, into tight coverage. And he just doesn't make the correct decisions. Because if you're making the correct decisions, you can kind of make up for a little bit of a lack of accuracy or throw power. If you're playing it smart, you have the good anticipation and awareness to know what you're doing with the football you can pass as a decent quarterback in this league. Look at Ryan Fitzpatrick as a career backup. Not a great arm, not incredibly accurate, but 
He has above average anticipation. We've seen it especially this year. And he's not a great example because he's not that good. Despite having an amazing season to start it off here in, uh, in 2018. But again, below average traits has performed above average, you could say, in the course of his career. That's how he stayed in the NFL for so long. But uh, Jameis Winston has not improved. And would I label Jameis Winston a bust? I think so at this point. I mean, he was a number one overall pick that has been an average to below average starter in the NFL over the course of his four years. And when you take a player at number one overall, you don't only expect them to mature and to be your everyday starting quarterback, which that there's a question right now in Tampa Bay. Are we going to go with Jameis Winston going forward? And I think the answer is probably not. When his contract comes to an end, which I believe is this year, I think it's four years plus a team option for the fifth year, they could very well say, hey, we're not picking up your fifth year team option. Jameis, thanks, but no thanks. Go test free agency. And he could be a decent backup, average to below average starter in the NFL, especially if he figures it out. But as of this moment, he has not been anywhere close to what the Bucks expected. And that's not saying anything. But to say that he's a bust, I think it's right it's right there. I don't think it's going too far. I think he's been a bust in this league. He's been average to below average. And when you're taking that high in the first round, you have to be at least a decent starter. And he just, he hasn't been. So what is a bust exactly? Is it not living up to your draft pick? Not living up to your draft potential? Or is it a player that is taken in the first or second round and completely flames out? or is not good at all. And Jameis Winston has been better than that. He's been average to below average, but only very slightly. He's been around that average mark. And would you consider an average player to be a bust? Not in most cases, but in I think it, you got to scale it accordingly to where they were drafted. And if they were taken at number one overall, you're definitely going to be more quick to address that player as a bust if they don't work out. And I Hope I'm not too over the, all over the place here. I hope you guys are understanding what I'm saying. You don't have to agree with me. But when you're taken as high as he was and you don't work out to be that number one overall player, that franchise quarterback, if there's still a question and you're not improving, I think you probably have that bust label. And unfortunately for Jameis Winston, I'm going to slap that bust label on him. Let's talk about Marcus Mariota. So Mariota was taken one pick higher than Jameis Winston. Excuse me, one pick lower. He was taken at number two overall by the Titans to Winston's number one overall by the Bucks, And he has been better than Jameis Winston. There's not a question in my mind. Mariota has been a better quarterback than Jameis Winston. His stats show it all time. He's been more careful with the football. His completion percentage this year is near 69%, which is nice. 68.6. Career, 63.1. Again, not terrible. Slightly better than Jameis Winston. But that 2% over a course of four years is really a lot more completions opposed to incompletions or interceptions. And as we talked about, Mariota has been more careful with the football. 69 touchdowns, nice. 42 interceptions, it is a slightly better ratio. Uh, Winston just hasn't been as consistent as Marcus Mariota. The problem is, when you talk about Mariota, or Mariota, however you say it, it I don't think it makes too much of a difference. Um... It comes down to him not being able to stay healthy, and he hasn't been. He's played more than 15 games zero times in his career. 12 his rookie year, 15 in 2016, 15 in 2017. Right now, he's only started 12 games this year out of the uh, 14 possible, I believe. And if you're missing two to three, sometimes four games a year, that is a question of health especially at the quarterback position when you see guys like Eli Manning who, you know, don't miss a game for 200-plus games. They start 200 consecutive times. And again, you say Andrew Luck. He's a guy that's been played with injuries. Well, I think Mariota hasn't played up to Andrew Luck's level, and that's not even saying anything. It really isn't. That's obvious. Andrew Luck is an incredible quarterback. Mariota has not been incredible. He's been safe. He's been conservative. That completion percentage is stuck around 62%. It's actually a career high, near 69% this year. And that's a considerable upgrade from it would have been about 61.8 maybe over the course of his career prior to this season, which kind of brought that average up above 63. 
about 12,000 career passing yards. Of course, 69 career touchdowns uh, is very nice. And he has shown flashes. Last year in Tennessee, he was not good. 13 touchdowns and 15 interceptions. Um, Average 7.1 yards per attempt. And he's not a guy that's going to air it out. He's been very conservative. But in 2016, 3,400 yards passing, 26 touchdowns and only 9 interceptions. So he's shown that he can do it. High touchdown to low interception ratio. But then back again this year. He has been playing injured. It's been a wrist or hand injury. So maybe you have to take some stock in that. Because um, that is a tougher injury to play through. Especially when you're playing quarterback. And even if it's not your throwing hand. You are getting the football pounded into that non-throwing hand. Every single time you're snapping the ball. Whether it's out of the shotgun or under center. 11 touchdowns to 8 interceptions this year. And it, it isn't all about touchdown to interception ratio. But that's talking about being conservative and being safe with the football, which is kind of what you want to be. Not necessarily so much conservative, but safe. You want to make those smart decisions. You obviously do not want to turn over the football. Um, his quarterback rating has stuck around um, the 90s for most of his career. 95.6 was his career high in 2016 at just 23 years of age. And then this year, 91.9. Last year, obviously not a great year. Uh, just below 80 at 79.3 and i don't take a ton of stock into things like quarterback rating because a lot of those are a product of who's around you and it's no secret that the titans have not exactly had a fantastic receiving core delaney walker's been a good tight end but outside of that there really haven't been many impact receivers on the titans you draft Corey davis he's been pretty good for you but outside of that your best receiver has maybe been kendall wright for Mariota's career is that accurate to say I feel like, unfortunately, it might be. Tywan Taylor is decent. Rashard Matthews had a decent season. I'm not sure that they were very good. Uh, I mean, it's an interesting situation because it's not like Mariota has been incredible for his career either. And he was taken just a pick later. And has he been that franchise guy for Tennessee? Probably not. He probably hasn't been. Obviously not playing up to number two overall. And his numbers are only slightly better than Jameis Winston. Not that it's necessarily a competition, but that's what we're pretty much breaking it down to at this point. Because if we're calling Jameis Winston a bust, which I guess I am, could you call Mariota a bust? I mean, the numbers are somewhat similar. None of them are too incredible. And in fact, um, Mariota, touchdown and interception-wise, has been slightly more turnover-prone. Um which I guess I didn't realize at first. I'm not really a math guy to do that. Um, it's, it's, it's interesting. And, and touchdown to interception ratio, I don't think, is a fantastic testament of being conservative, being safe with the football. Because if you look at interception ratio, which is interception, um, this ratio of attempts to interceptions, for a career, Mariota has been right at 3.1. Or excuse me, Jameis Winston's right at 3.1. And then um, Marcus Mariota has been at 2.6, which is considerably better. So touchdown to interception ratio doesn't tell the whole tale, even though you think that it might off the bat. I know this is a really rambly, ranty style video, but I'm a little bit confused about whether to call Mariota a bust if we're going to call Jameis Winston a bust. And is Jameis Winston even a bust? It depends what you consider a bust to be. It's kind of a yes and no situation because he hasn't been that guy that you expected him to be. But is that what a bust is? I think it's kind of a slippery slope. I know, kind of a ranty, all over the place, rambly style video. But sometimes I just like to get in front of the camera and kind of talk off the uh, top of my head about these sort of things and, and look up some stats and see where they kind of fall in line with my own perceived opinions. But hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think a bust is down in the comment section below. Let me think if you think these guys, or let me know if you think these guys are busts. What do you consider a bust to be? It's, it's a weird question, but... That's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.